<laughs> no competition. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Yoda, Han, Shirley. That's right. Look okay. great. This is my first speech ever, so. Woohoo! Yay! Speech virgin! <laughs> That's a new one. I have not heard that. <laughs> Blame anime. It's a new see. term for our class. <laughs> okay. Okay. Rhythmic pounding, heart racing, adrenaline pumping. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? How you're feeling right now? <laughs> That's exactly right. No, um, this is actually the emotions that you feel just trying to register for the race to road degree. Ah, uh, cramps, fatigue, and exhaustion are what follow the day of the race. I think running is the best overall body conditioning exercise, and it's the easiest to do since we've all been doing it since childhood. Um, I come from a family runner. My husband's a runner. My two sister-in-laws and one of our sons are runners, where 10 miles is considered their short run, and 20 miles is their long run. Um, I haven't, I think two miles is my longest so far. <laughs> April 18 is the race to Roby Creek. Um, if you're a runner and you live here in Boise, you won't want to miss this race. I was wondering, how many of you are runners? Do you guys know of the races here in Boise? Did it last year? You yeah. did? Awesome. Okay, well, the registration process is probably the most difficult races to register for. According to RobyCreek.com, there are 2,432 numbers available to runners, and tens of thousands of applicants buy for those numbers. According to KTRB Fox 12, the number sold out in 43 minutes. They did have a second chance lottery. For those of you who have not been able to um, register as of yet, where actually this passed also. This was on February 24th, where they had um, chosen 200 random numbers, and whoever numbers names they picked were lucky enough to have numbers available for the race. So this was done on February 24th, and if you still have not been able to get a number and you still would like to try, you can still try. They have a message board on RobyCreek.com that allows you to beg or plead for numbers, <laughs> or for those who, who have received a number, they can actually try to scalp their tickets off, which people, I mean, there was one on there that said, I'll pay 100 bucks for the ticket. Please, I need one. So mine is there saying that I failed to get my husband a number, so please help help, help a wife out and <laughs> sell me one. Um, if you still have not been able to get a number at this point, there still are last minute cancellations and selling of numbers on the day of the race. So that's, like I said, April 18, if any of you still want to register for that. If you thought registration was difficult, you probably haven't heard about the course. <laughs> <laughs> this race is considered the toughest half marathon in the Northwest. It starts off at Fort Boise Park, and it ends at the Roby Creek Picnic Grounds. It starts at an elevation of 2,725 feet and steadily goes up to 4,797 feet, 8.5 miles consistently uphill. Of course, once you get up at the top of the summit, it all must come down. So you have 4.6 miles of steep terrain. If you can make it past the finish line, an oasis awaits you. We are talking about food and beer galore. <laughs> The After Race Party is sponsored by the biggest local companies, Nagel Beverage Company, aka PepsiCo. They have some lot that have booths and food. And then, according to RobyCreek.com, they do have 30 kegs of beer, 4,000 cookies, and this is all three to participants. However, family and friends do need to pay $10 per ticket, and you have to get a ticket before you get up there. So, in conclusion, so the race to Roby Creek is on. 
I brought you through the registration process. I hopefully provide you with race information. The after race party is really something to to manage to get to if you if you can manage to claim a number, live through the cramps and fatigue. I'm sure that the party would be well worth it. Unfortunately, since my family and I are LBS, we won't be able to drown ourselves in beer. <laughs> However, I strongly believe that the sense of accomplishment would be well worth the effort. Thank you.